So, ball JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on the one NBA player that still plays in 1990s Nike shoes. And they aren't basketball shoes either. Stay tuned for the rest and make sure to check out some of my other videos if you haven't yet. Leave a thumbs up on this video for more. Seriously, go do it now. Have you done it? Thank you. Even if you haven't done it, thank you. Because I know you eventually will. And make sure to comment your reaction down below and other video requests you might have going forward. And let's get started with today's topic. You know, you look around the league, you'll see a lot of players rocking Kobe's, Kyrie's, PG's, Adidas crazy explosives, and more of the current sneaker heat, but only one player blows away the competition. If the current sneakers are fire, then these are a nuclear bomb. Tabo Cephalosha, forward for the Utah Jazz, formerly well known for his playing days in Oklahoma City and Atlanta, is the only current NBA player to ball every night in the Nike Air Max 90s. Nike super designer Tinker Hatfield made the shoe back in the day with a thick air unit in the midsole and breathable mesh upper to make it light for runners. This shoe was never made to hit the hardwood and while some hoopers may wear it as a joke at the local rec center or wear it because it's the only shoe they have, Cephalosha chooses to play in it every night. And he's playing in the best, most intense, and strenuous basketball league in the world. So when did this all start for Tabo? It's actually nothing new. He played in the Air Max 1 mid early in the 2015-16 season, then switched to the Air Max 90 runner for a couple of seasons now, and it all began when he suffered a broken fibula and ankle damage outside of a Manhattan nightclub on April 8th, 2015. He sustained the injuries in an incident with five New York City police officers in which he won a $4 million settlement against, claiming false arrest, excessive force, false imprisonment, and malicious protection. These injuries sidelined Cephalosha for the remainder of that season, which so happened to be the one where his team won 60 games and went on to be swept by the Cavs in the Eastern Conference Finals, and now all their players are gone and so is Cephalosha. During his rehab, Cephalosha started wearing the Air Maxes and never looked back after that. He wears a size 15 with insoles that model his feet, and even though the Air Max has a waffle pattern outsole, Cephalosha says they have great grip. They have great grip, uh, they're a comfortable shoe. I think for anybody that wear them outside of the court, they can, they can relate. Uh, and on the court, to me, they feel good. I get taped though, uh, you know, take care of my, of my ankle, but other than that, I mean, they're the perfect shoe. He just laces them up and goes. Hey, all power to him because I wouldn't even lace these up at the local rec. And this man is rocking them in the NBA. There are a lot of low top basketball shoes nowadays, but just the fact of how high off the ground the Air Max 90s are seems crazy to me that he doesn't roll over in them a lot. His teammates think so too. Joe Ingles said, I'd roll my ankle walking in them. Ricky Donovan Mitchell said, It's definitely swaggy though, but I don't know if I could do it. And Rudy Gobert chimed in, I like to walk in them, but I can't play in them. Now a 12 year vet and 33 years old, it's unlikely that Cephalosha will ever switch to an another model and said that he didn't choose to wear the Air Max 90s by design, but for comfort alone. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you play basketball in the Air Max 90s? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below, and we'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out!